turn your HUD on, simply press the power button on the left side. To enter the settings menu, press and hold the power button. You can scroll through the settings menu by hitting left or right. Enter into each section by hitting the center button. Press the power button to exit out. In the single target screen, you can start and stop your stage timer. Simply press the center button to start, and then once again to stop. You can also use your remote with the center button. To change target range, use the left or right button to scroll through. To change your wind direction, press the right square button, then use the left or right button to change, and then the square button to accept your change. To move on to your next screen, press and hold the square button for two seconds. You are now in the target card screen, regular font. In this screen, if you press the center button, you can stop and start your stage timer. And if you use the left or right buttons, you'll toggle through that third column, moving from wind speed one, wind speed two, and on. Press and hold the square button to move into the large font target card. This allows you to see each one of your 10 targets in a larger font. Press and hold the square button for two more seconds to move over to your dope card. Your dope card is a static card that you pull in from your Kestrel. It does not live update. This allows you to see all the information that you need going out to extreme ranges. To connect your Kestrel and your HUD and pull in all this information, first make sure that your HUD is turned on. Then go into your Kestrel menu. Hit the sprocket to go into the menu. Push down one center button to go into Bluetooth. Make sure that Bluetooth is turned on by toggling to the right, then center button to go in. Scroll over to device, then scroll down two times until HUD connect is highlighted. Press the center button. The Kestrel will now be looking for your HUD. Find the serial number on the back of your HUD and match it to your Kestrel. Press the center button and your HUD will be connected. To insert the HUD into the clip, nest the notch on the front of the HUD with the groove on the clip arm and line up the clip with the clip retention slots on the rear of the HUD. Then press and click the HUD into the clip. To connect the remote control, open up the plug, then line up the white dot on your remote and the red dot on the HUD. Press until you feel the click. The remote control operates identical to the middle three buttons of your HUD and can be used that way so that you never have to break from position to reach up to your HUD. 